Okay, here we are uh, with uh, my dad's uh, 437B and uh, what I've got it hooked up to here is an 11683A range calibrator. Uh, this is a piece of kit that's uh, specifically designed to calibrate uh, these series of, uh, uh, of power meters and uh, this particular one I purchased from uh, Cal Center uh, Calibration Lab down in uh, Texas that uh, uh, was able to uh, get it to me and uh, have it calibrated so I'm fairly happy with uh, where that stands so what I wanted to do now was just run through the performance tests for the 437B and see how they go. So the first test that uh, we're going to go and have a look at is called the zero carryover test and uh, basically this test uh, checks for drift and noise and uh, the zero carryover because it can't uh, tell between uh, drift noise and zero carryover. Uh, but we're going to just uh, run through that test and, uh, and record the results. So we turn the meter on, we uh, set preset uh, local, so we preset the, the unit, and we set it for uh, dB uh, milliwatts, the range calibrator we set to three uh, to the three microwatt range, we make sure it's on standby, it's turned on, and then we press the power meter zero key, Okay, so now we uh, press set range and we want to select range 1 so we press enter. And now I need to uh, find a pen because I'm going to uh, record this. And what uh, we're seeing here is yeah, about 0 0.00. Oh. So now we're going to set the range. We're going to step up a range and press enter. And we'll call that 0, 0.0 as well. And let's step up a range again. It's pretty much 0, 0.000 milliwatts. Let's set that range. We'll go up another range. We're going to range 4. Again, that's 0, 0.00 milliwatts. And let's go check our final range. And that's 0, 0.0. So that's the zero carryover. Pretty much uh, uh, we came in on track. Now we'll uh, go and have a look at our instrument accuracy test. Now this is where we're going to basically see whether or not um, uh, the instrument is within the performance limitations and that's plus or minus uh, half a percent uh, or plus or minus basically 0 0.02 uh, dB uh, within the same calibration range. So let's go through those, uh, those steps. So have the meter turned on, we set preset local, we set dB milliwatts, range function is going to be standby, polarity is normal, Range is 3 microwatts, yep, line is on, yep, press the power meter zero function, okay, so now uh, we're going to go and start using the range calibrator, so we want to check, turn it to calibrate, and now uh, we're going to go set the range switch to 1 uh, milliwatt, press uh, the cal key and we want a hundred percent and we're going to enter that so now we're calibrating against 
one. This is basically going to give out uh, a very accurate uh, set of information. So now we're calibrated against uh, uh, one milliwatt there. And now we're going to go through uh, the table and record what uh, the range setting is. Okay, so let's start with three microwatts. And that's going to be 3.18. Let's come up to 10 microwatts. We'll give it time to settle. Now we don't need to do this in uh, DBM because basically uh, it's the same circuitry inside the 437 that does the calculation, uh, does the measurement, whether it's DBM or not. It's just a math calculation on the top. So we can do this in uh, uh, in the watts region. So that's 9.99. Let's come up to 30 watts there. That's 31.6. Let's come up to 100. One hundred point zero. Let's come up to three hundred. point three one six. Now you're probably wondering why, uh, if I'm reading three hundred, am I reading uh, three hundred and sixteen? Um, and that's really because the the legends on here are an approximation. Um, the real values are actually going to be the 3.16, 31.6 and so on. Because uh, if you have a look at the actual uh, DBM value, that's how it's uh, going to match. So uh, we're pretty good there. Let's go up to 1 milliwatt. And we should be close because we just calibrated there. So uh, I'm going to call that... Worst case, 0.999. Let's go to 3 milliwatts. It seems pretty much bang on, 3.16. Let's go up to the next one. It's going to be 10. I have no idea when this was last calibrated, but it seems to be pretty much to spec in t so far in terms of the, the perf of the unit. So that's 31.6. And this is 99.9. That's pretty good. So now the last thing to do would be for us to set up uh, that test again and uh, measure the power reference out here. Now I'm not going to do that because we measured it already and you saw this in the previous video and it came in at uh, 99 oh, or 0.994 uh, milliwatts. Now that value is actually within spec. Uh, the power reference plus the uncertainties can come through as uh, anywhere from uh, 9, 0.981 to 1.019 uh, milliwatts and be still within inspector. We can probably bring it in a little closer and get it to be a little bit uh, closer to the one milliwatt exactly um, and I might crack open the case and, and give it that little tweak um, just to go do that. So let me go uh, set that up. But overall, uh, the, the, in, the meter is in with in spec without making any changes at all. Okay, well here we are uh, with the, uh, the lid off uh, the 437 here. And if we turn it on its side, uh, what you can see here, and if we take a bit of a, if we just move the camera, you know, this is basically the main board. There's another board on the, the top here. These two cans are uh, where they do the frequency uh, generation stuff. And so what we're going to go do is modify this uh, uh, trimmer here that will help us set the, uh, the actual level of uh, the output reference. So let me drop that down there like that. Let's come back and see if we can get both um, items in short.
shot at the same time. You'll have to forgive me here. And what I'm going to do now is just put put this on and let's zero myself again. Okay, and let's turn the power reference on. And there we go, we're seeing our 0.994 milliwatts there, so let me get in there and start turning that up a little bit. Now technically you're supposed to do this with a 432A and a uh, 473, I think it is, uh, thermistor mount uh, and go do it. But you can do it this way um, with within the sort of the two percent tolerance that they give you uh, in the manual but really if you wanted this thing to be absolutely bang on uh, because we're going to have some transfer error between the two uh, you'd have to take it either to one of those thermistors or do what I did which just get into a, an actual cal lab and use a measuring receiver to measure the power out and then make the the changes anyway we now have uh, our one milliwatt, let's just give that just a little bit more of a, a tweak there and we'll bang on our one milliwatt so I'm going to box this all up and uh, send this back to my dad I hope uh, you found that uh, run through the performance tests interesting and uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop them in the, the comments area alright, catch you later, bye